I needed to be the bigger man when I return, which is why we are doing short ribs on today's episode of One Plate Gourmet. Welcome to One Play Gourmet, the cooking show that leaves you with the question of how. Today we have short ribs and potatoes. Well, without further ado, ladies, gentlemen, and others, let's begin. For this recipe, we're going to use two to three short ribs, making sure you trim excess fat off the edges about 8 to 11 tablespoons of butter, two pounds of Yukon potatoes, about two cups of boneless beef broth, two ounce of tomato paste, one tablespoon garlic paste, half a cup of milk, and half a cup of heavy cream, two celery sticks, one medium onion, half a carrot, salt, and black pepper. We're gonna start off with our aromatics. So roughly chop your onions, carrots, and celery and place into a bowl. Next, we're gonna season our ribs heavily with salt, black pepper, and even sugar if you prefer, on all sides, of course. Over medium high heat, we wanna just brown the sides of our ribs till it's nice and temptingly edible, which should take about two to three minutes on each side. Speaking of temptations, you will be tempted to use another pot, but I encourage you to retain the same cauldron to make our sauce. So just throw in three tablespoons of butter and your aromatics and let them cook till it's nice and soft. Then add in your garlic and rosemary and let them mingle. And if life allows you to, introduce half a cup of red wine and deglaze on medium high heat for three to four minutes or until it starts to look like a syrup. Pour in two cups of beef broth and place your ribs in bone side facing upward. Bring to a boil, then turn heat to low and cover and let cook for about three to four hours. When there's about half an hour left, start working on your palm puree. Carefully peel and dice the potatoes and place into a bowl of cold water, just so that they don't oxidize and lose their color. You can use Yukon fingerling potatoes or russet potatoes. The illusion of choice is all yours. And just like it was Wanda's choice to dabble in the mystic arts, add a dabble of salt to your potatoes and boil till soft which, let's be honest, could take anywhere from around 10 to 15 minutes really. As your potatoes are being mashed, heat up half a cup of milk and half a cup of cream, and once it starts to boil, take it off the heat. You don't want to add cold milk and cream to your potatoes, otherwise it'll make it gummy. Next, you kind of want to pass your potatoes through a sieve, or if you can afford a ricer, you can push it through a couple of times, just to make the consistency really unified. Once that's done, add in your warm milk and put the heat on low and fold your potatoes in on itself. At this point, add in the rest of your butter. Do this one leg at a time so it incorporates properly. You wanna keep at it for about five to eight times, going tablespoon by tablespoon until your potatoes become rich and creamy, like so. There are many, many ways to plate pom puree. You could make two dollops on a plate and use your spoon and spread it over like a semicircle. Then very carefully place your ribs down like bop. Drizzle with sauce and garnish with parsley. Or make two small clouds and smear them both like a full circle or half circles. Or you could skip all that and just plop it down in the middle but you still gotta drench it with your sauce you just made because why not and give it a little plant by its side to show that you too are an ally to vegans all over the world and there you have it 